All right. Um, uh, lately, there has been uh, a lot of discussion about uh, World Taekwondo Federation and Kuki Wan Pungse. And there was this commonly held sentiment or perspective that the Pungse is only meant as you know, a separate performance, almost like, like a dance, or, or it basically satisfies the requirement mm -hmm. for promotion from one level to another. And then there is this recent um, innovation of quote-unquote self-defense or Hushinsu. So at each level of training, you have sparring, which doesn't look anything like the Pumse. And then you have the Pumse itself, and the technical requirements for Pumse is fairly strict. And then you have self-defense, which also bears very little or no resemblance to the Pumse or to the sparring. So you have the WTF who promotes the um, sport aspect of the art, and then you have the cookie one that's supposedly um, promoting Taekwondo as a martial art. So you have these two divisions within the Taekwondo community. Whatever I have to say here, let me interject that nothing I have to say here is criticism. It's just observation and assessment. Okay? Now, the Pumse um, should uh, reflect the entire content of the art. So if it doesn't reflect what the art looks like in actual practice, then the Pumse needs to be redesigned, re-choreographed, adjusted, so that it reflects what the end result is supposed to look like. So then there's a building block uh, process. But that doesn't appear to be the case. So what I'm going to do here is to, is to, um, is to take a critical look at what uh, the role of Pumse in the overall Taekwondo experience. Okay? So the next uh, presentation is going to be, um, so consider this presentation one, <laughs> presentation two is going to be taking a look at the fundamental skills that makes up the Pumse. And we'll start with uh, Teguk Iljan or Pumse number one.